Okay, so file, new, design, hit OK. Maximize the square. Just going to get rid of this because we don't need it. Okay, so down the right hand side, what we're going to do is we're going to try and make a fish. But first things first, we want to put this plane on the floor. So there's a little L button here, view onto work plane. So if we click that, now come over to the ellipse tool and make ourselves the body of the fish. We go for the tail. Right, that's a bit silly. So what we can do is we can go back. And again. Yeah, that's a bit better. Okay, now, ideally, we would like the just the outside edge because that's what we're going to cut out of wood. So we've got a delete line segment tool over here. And when it goes to light blue, we can just click on it and delete. Now, come over to your circle. Let's put an I in. And use the arc or fillet tool to put a smile. But you've got to start outside and then go to in. And again, we use the delete tool on the bits. So that is our fish. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to um, extrude that to give it a thickness. So if we come to view isometric, click on that, it lays it flat. And then over here, we have an extrude tool. If we just click that once and come down here and type in 12. We then have the thickness of our wood. And if you hold down the space bar, what you get is the ability to move around, which is kind of cool. Now, the only thing I want to do is, so I'm going to hit <coughs> the view onto work plane tool again, is I'm going to come over to where it says base, click on the plus, and I'm going to right mouse click on the word base and hit new sketch. Call that one uh, wind sock. Hit OK. I'm going to come over to the rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a square. Then I'm going to come back up to my isometric and I'm going to use the extrude tool, extrude profile button again. Click on that. Now it says above work plane. I want to change that to symmetric about work plane and put in 120. And what that will do is it will give me a piece of wood at the back that will hold open the windsock. And again, if you hold down the space bar, oops, excuse me, if you hold down the space bar, you can actually see that. Great, all done. Let's see how we can get on with that.